I'll show you how to assign users, uh, Azure AD users, to uh, database app roles that you created uh, in a prior video. With this Azure AD integration, when the user requests and gets the Azure AD OAuth 2 access token for the database, that access token is for the database, and uh, the Azure AD will insert the app roles appropriate for the user and the database in the token itself so that the database doesn't have to uh, make a separate query to find what authorizations the user has. App roles are used in the database, uh, app registration within uh, Azure AD, and they're mapped to global schema or global role in the database, and users and groups in Azure AD are assigned to them. A user could additionally be mapped directly to a global schema in the database for an exclusive mapping. Uh, app roles are created uh, and are part of the database app registration. Take a look at that what that looks like. We go into Azure Active Directory within your portal. And the app, we look in the app registration under the database we had already created, example database. And you see the app roles we already created. One for HR admin, which is for an application, and DB admin for a DBA. Now, the because an app registration, a database app registration, can be used in multiple tenancies in Azure AD, we go to the enterprise application. The enterprise application is has some of the data for that app registration in a particular tenancy. So associated users in a tenancy to an app role are maintained within the enterprise application uh, for the uh, uh, for the database. So. We look up the uh, example database. There's a matching enterprise application for the app registration. Now remember, we're in the enterprise application. This has a user and group information. So we go open the users and groups. We add using group. Now we want to select a role. And look, we'll take the DB admin role. It, um, this is for the example database. These are the two that are uh, app roles that are part of the example database that we created. Select, and now we need to find a user. And there I'm pretty near the top. So you can select one user, one role, and I'm going to go ahead and assign that. And there's that assignment. Uh, uh, so that when I access the token for this database uh, and the client, I'll have that db.admin app role within the uh, OAuth2 token for my authorization.